Hello everybody, and welcome to another of my videos for Dungeon Crusher Soul Hunters. Um, it's been a while since I've updated my video on this, so I wanted to go ahead and do that now, because a lot of things have changed for my account, and so I wanted to uh, make sure that I give you um, the most updated information that I can give you um, to help you guys out uh, in your gameplay. Uh, recently I had found somebody from my clan who didn't know about this um, trick, and it has stunted his um gameplay tremendously so um i sent him the link for the old one and then as i was watching it i was like "Ooh, wow that's a lot of stuff that i didn't add into that video because i didn't have it at that time so um i wanted to go ahead and make a new one now the first thing that you're gonna see is uh, i left this up intentionally um i just did a dark ritual and <clears throat> i um <laughs> didn't do things the way i wanted to uh, so I decided to, um, for making this video, the purpose is to make the video. So I decided to go ahead and uh, do another dark ritual, but you can only do one every 10 minutes. So I still have a countdown timer. Um, that's not important for you right now, maybe, but um, when you start doing the time travel trick, it is very important because you're going to do dark rituals very frequently. And so you have to make sure that you're giving yourself 10 minutes in between each dark ritual in order to, um, to, continually do the time travel trick. So um, the first thing, I'll, I'll just get out of here since we got about 30 seconds. Uh, the first thing is that when you start this, you're going to wait, you're going to want to wait until you're at the very end of your map run. Uh, what do I mean by map run? This is what I mean by map run. So however your largest hero is, your best hero, um, You'll want him at maximum so that you can get as many materials as you can for uh, crafting things and various other items. Um, let me switch to that there. So right now, Star Ranger is my biggest hero, uh, which is a very big cry from, I mean, a very long way from Kurthro Raz that I had before. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, and he's going to be at maximum. Now, once I was there, then I could do all of these fast forward jumps these time travels to get farther um, but I'm just going to go ahead and pretend like I was already at the end of my map um, which is somewhere around 8,000 level 8,000 right now um, and so once you get at the end of it <clears throat> usually I only do this um, on, a, on a on a normal day for my account I only do this once per day uh, and that's just so that I can do the daily bosses. Um, at this point, you're going to want to have done a full run of your arenas. You're also going to want to have done a full run of your sciences. Um, and with all of your heroes activated, uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is um, you're just going to go ahead and do a dark ritual. There we go. All right, so now I'm back at level 3767, which is based off of my uh, artifact for the spatial portal. Um, I talk about this in another video, so if you're curious about why I chose that and why I'm up so high, you can go to that other video on artifacts and you can learn about that. Um, but suffice it to say, I do not max the um, the spatial portal, I only go to 3746. Um, well, you know what, I'm going to tell you anyway, because uh, 3746 is the earliest you can hire um, the space hero off of. The, uh, the star, I'm sorry, not space hero, the star, star hero, which I believe I have star ranger as my star hero with the infinity gem. These little things around his um, name uh, signify the infinity gem. Uh, I put it on him and I just let him have it pretty much until the end of the game, uh, which is never, uh, but he is always the guy that I have it on because once you get enough shards, of, uh, or not shards, but once you, oh well, yeah, shards. So once you get enough of the infinity gem uh, percentages then um, he can go up to a maximum of like 
level 19,000 just on him. Uh, so there's no point in going any higher. Um, because at 19,000, you can get a full run of the time travel trick in. And it's all good. Um, Alright, so... Uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into your map and you're going to go ahead and scroll all the way down. Um, you're going to get to around level 59, maybe 64, doesn't really matter, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, and then you are going to click that level. So what that's going to do for you is it's going to give you that base gold. Okay. Um, there is another way to do this to where you go to a higher level. It doesn't really matter though, um, but if you had started the game by ranking Ina like I suggest that people do instead of Nush Killian, then with your first million gold that's up there, you can hire Ina and then you can get to a much higher level. Um, but So there's Ina there at Galaxy X. And she's not going to count against your top, uh, your three heroes, um, because she's at Galaxy X and you can't rank her anymore. Um, so that's going to be a very important thing: is making sure that uh, you're only choosing heroes for your three heroes who are at max level, or, um, well, you can you can choose more than that if they're at max level because they won't count against the three heroes. But as for your three heroes, you want to use King Midas right there, okay? And then um, after you have King Midas at at least level 100, so he was at 241 there, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and come in here and we're going to click his Midas Touch. So what his Midas Touch does is I can then go back out because now I'm at level 3767 again. And I can click here. You can see my gold is at 2.1 to the 19th power. So I'm going to click him once and automatically it jumps up to 9.8 to the 776th. So that's one click. <clears throat> that's uh, King Midas's ability, which is pretty awesome. So then I go ahead and make him uh, fully purchased. And then I switch this over to active. And when I get down to active, then you can see that I can now hire Star Ranger. Um, because um, he is hireable at 771 and I'm at 776. So I'm going to hire him. Okay, and so he's at Galaxy X, so he doesn't count against my three heroes. And so you can see he's progressing as it is. Um, so I'm going to go back in here. Uh, the next person I'm going to hire is the the um, hero that I want to rank. Okay, so Forme is the one that I want to rank currently. Ethelinda is Galaxy X, so I can hire him or her. Uh, Geld is also at Galaxy X. And Ina is a Galaxy X. So I can hire them without them being affected by my three hero trick. Now, at this point, um, it really doesn't matter who your third uh, your third hero is. Um, you can do a lot of strategies. If you're still using Soul Hunter, you could use Soul Hunter in there so that you can get um, some, some more so extra souls. I just choose Brath because it's easy and I don't get on and play very often. Um, so I'm going to put Brath as my third hero, okay? Now, the important part about this next step is the reason why you're going to do the three hero trick is to make sure that you get ranking up only one person. If you are in here and you have all of your heroes hired, then it randomly selects three heroes for you to upgrade, and usually it's three of your lowest ones, okay? And so having everybody hired does not allow you to focus on the one person that you want to focus on, okay? The person I want to focus on is Fome. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here to the daily boss. Excuse me. The daily boss. When I click on the daily boss, the first thing I'm going to look at is, oh, no, my chance of victory is less than 1%. I should not attack. Okay, so the more bosses you kill, the higher strength is on this guy here, and the um, the more power you have to have. So um, this is what I actually messed up. 
uh, and then I realized, oh, well, I should probably do a video showing that. So less than 1% to it, do it. So if I attack him right now, I'm going to die. And in addition to that, I'm going to lose five of my guys, and then I have to do lots of these time travels or pay for them to get back to life. Because I think it's like 12 hours or something like that um, that they're incapacitated for. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a time travel. You can use the watch if you want. Um, Ten bottles is nothing. Uh, not a lot for me right now. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then you can see that currently my damage is at 1141. Okay. So now if I go back in here to the daily boss, I'm still at negative, less than 1% because I'm at 1325. So one more time. I'm going to do this time travel. There we go. Now what I have to do... Actually, I probably didn't even need to do that. So what I should have done is come into here and then put some more ranks on them. So now I'm at 1457, so I'm way above what it is. Um, now, as you increase your infinity gem percentage, like if I was to have this guy hired even only at 12 units, level 12, um, with my other account uh level 12 is enough to like be into like the 6000 range or something like that it's crazy 6000 damage range uh because i have maxed infinity gym um and so that as you increase your heroes uh as you get more shards and convert them to higher ones so right now i have 431 at Soul Eater, eventually I'm going to convert those into the Necrophagist Trooper. And after I do the Necrophagist Trooper, I'm going to do the um, Seaweed. And so as I'm doing Seaweed, I'll get a higher percentage on the Infinity Gem, which will then help me out so that I don't have to um, time travel just to be able to get to kill the Daily Boss. See, so now I'm at plus 99% higher. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and attack him. Pretty simple. Go in, click once, he's dead. We win. Now, once you win, you get to rare, increase one of your hero's rarities. So I only have three in here, so I can increase the one that I want to choose. And I'm going to choose Forme. And then we're going to go in. And we're going to do this again. Um, you should probably only do two per day um, if you have a problem keeping bottles so right now uh, I only have uh, 2500 bottles or so um, and so if I do too many of these on a regular basis I'm gonna run out of bottles because I'm not earning a whole lot of bottles um, but I'm going to go ahead and do a third one right now. So there's 100. So it goes from free to 50 to 100, 200, 400, 800, and keeps doubling after that. Um, so generally do not do more than three because that's 150 bottles. And if you can afford 150 bottles, that's great. Um, so here's my dude. Kill him there. Legendary nine. And so I can focus on that one hero the entire way. <clears throat> so that is how I was able to get Star Ranger to Galactic X in a short period of time. It's how I get all of these other guys it to Galactic X in a short period of time. You just want to focus on one. So the first one you want to focus on is your strongest hero, um, which would be a star hero if you have one. So focus on your star hero as much as you can um, to get them maxed up to Galaxy X. And then after that, you want to work on whoever whoever you're wanting to, to get higher. Um, it could be any variety of reasons on why you do it. Right now, I'm working on my 230 million heroes, uh, like Full May. So that is the three hero trick and the Midas trick. It is super, super important. And, um, you know, I guess I didn't realize that a lot of people don't know about this still, um, but it is the best way to get your game to advance. 
So uh, please, 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 please do this on a regular basis. Thank you for watching my video. And uh, if you have any questions, leave it below or any comments. And um, have a good day.